Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now let me share it with you what's going on around in my area right now as you can see all the departments are closed due to the confirmed increases of this coronavirus the COVID-19 and unfortunately they have no business around in this area it's only chemists. It's only chemists, uh, chemists warehouse or chemists or pharmacies, and they, um, the supermarket, like you know, that's essential convenience stores, and the fish and meat shops are open, and the banks as well. But few co few coffee shops are open. But only for takeaway it's no dine-in that's allowed right now I'm in front of Kemsi Center which is very quiet when you go inside in that center it shuts everything except for the um, Gloria Jeans coffee our Prime Minister here he's encouraging everyone to take the vaccine Otherwise, this COVID is not going to to go anywhere. Yeah, right gonna now, it's just gonna get worse. And for me, myself, I'm I'm pregnant. I was asking yesterday, you know, when I went for a checkup, if I could take it. They said it's safe, that's but not advisable. But that's not advisable, like what Levin said. Um, so I have to wait until I gave birth and. Uh, I'll get that vaccine. But they don't have conclusive studies yet on uh, pregnant mothers on how the vaccine will uh, affect them. The pregnant woman, yeah? Yeah, on pregnant mothers, so uh, pre pre pregnant ladies, women. So it's better, you know, you've got three, four weeks left. I mean, we can hold out three, four weeks, just got to be careful. You know, just, um, I guess the most effective way of preventing uh, this virus from going anywhere is wearing masks when you go outside. And okay, going densely populated areas. And comply the 1.5 meter distance, social distancing. Yeah. And have um, sanitizers always in your bag and yeah, sanitize it sanitation. all the time <laughs> yeah, yes you try to do the right thing you try to do the right thing all the time but it's the, it's the people around you that you're concerned about are they doing the right thing you know last week there was two removalists who went to from sydney who had the virus we drove all the way to Melbourne and they, they weren't when they got to Melbourne they were removing furniture but they weren't wearing any masks so, so they spread affected. the virus yeah sorry guys Levin has to answer the phone Hello. so I'll take you I'll, I'll take you around here as you can see there's people that are still walking around for exercise um but other than that they they um they not allowed to stay in one place you know if they want to buy coffee they can buy they can still buy but they have to they have to social distancing of 1.5 meter away from each other Unless if they're not, like, unless if they are family. So basically, Prime Minister said, um, 
we still have to go out outside our house but essentially needed if we are really you know if we really need something and then go and then go back home straight away not wandering around so right now in front of me is KMC Medical Center people you can see those people outside Medical Center because they're not allowed to go inside straight away there's a number so it's probably they're accepting five to five to ten I'm not quite sure with the numbers the, re the remaining is, has to stay outside and make sure to scan the the, the QR code and if you are coughing if, or if you are showing us any symptoms like sore throat, coughing or sneezing they don't even let you in you see, did you hear that? did you hear that? did you see that? did you hear that? everyone? Did you hear that? Everyone so everyone gets crazy because they're sick, they wanna see the doctor. The thing is, the problem is when you show symptoms, when you show symptoms, they don't let you in. <coughs> like for example, a few weeks ago I took Phyllis inside the medical center because she had this coughing due to um, the weather and they didn't let me in so they didn't let me in they asked me to call the the number and speak to one of the doctor and you know uh, so that's what I did I was very frustrated because I wanna I want I want I want to get a medication for Phyllis which is I end up got it already when I called the doctor. Doctor gave us the prescribed medicine, and then doctor also gave us the certificate, um, sick certificate for Phyllis. So when she goes back to um, the school, I have to give that to the teacher. And on top of that, the following day we went to get a swab test regardless because um that's one of the documents that i have to provide for phyllis to go back to school anyway so we we got our prescribed medicine from the doctor after the few rings because they were very busy but like what i said you know you have to be patient you have to um to call them wait and <clears throat> because like what i said they didn't they did not let me let us in because Phyllis showed the symptoms, which is coughing. Coughing because of the, um, the weather, <coughs> change weather. That time it was very cold. And um, yeah, so that's how, that's, it, it's very hard right now. Hi again, everyone. Let me continuously show you around people around here so you can see everyone's wearing a mask like what i mentioned before and the people that's been queuing in medical center they're still there as you can see they're still waiting for their turn to to be inside just having my coffee here take away coffee this is a hot chocolate by the way and I went to the Philippine shop, bought some suman. I'll show you. Let me show you quickly. Oh, can't see. And anyway, I just right inside of my bag. So the only business that's allowed to open here, oh. as you can see, people are. Um, complying 1.5 meter distancing unless if you are together like your family go out together but you're not allowed to go as a group like 
group of five, group of four, you know, for a walk. Um, you can only go as a couple, like a husband and wife, or your friend, two of you. Oh, actually not even a friend. So as long as you live together in one household, then you can go for a walk. Like Levin and I, we come here for a walk, but not as a group, as a friend. Um, if you like it, yeah. Do you want? Laksa? Okay. Levin feels like having a soup, so we're just gonna go to the takeaway take away um, shops to buy some laksa soup people still going out even though it's COVID and the excuses is exercise hey Jenem the one that we, ha we had before with Robert what was that soup laksa soup is it yeah is there anything you want to get you want to have a look at the menu bring the menu outside huh yeah okay i have rice at home baby Thank you so much for staying tuned with me and I will see you in the next video. I will give you an update. I'm just gonna throw this away. Defend them? Bidaka. So I will see you in the next video. Everyone, I'll update you of what's going on around here in my area. And and especially in the new in in my place in Sydney um, hopefully the lockdown will be finished end of this month but the recent news the update the updated news saying that um, if they if, if they if the vir if the case is still going up and it's not going to to, to go down into zero it would probably back, um, lockdown would probably extended for the next month, and if it, if it's if the cases will goes down into zero, there's probably um, hopefully probably mid of next month we will have our freedom. So finger crossed, and in God's will, everything will be okay. So stay safe, everyone. And be strong. We're on it together. We'll fight for it. And thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.